This video will demonstrate the use of the integrated DICOM viewer that can be accessed from the Keystone application installed onto your PCs within the hospital. Launch the DICOM viewer by double-clicking on the patient line item or on any of the image thumbnail previews within the study. Image manipulation tools will be located in the toolbar at the top of the screen. To determine the functionality of any of the tools, you may hover your mouse over an icon and a box will pop up indicating that tool functionality. Right or left clicking on a particular icon will train your mouse for that functionality. Additionally, if you're using a mouse with a scroll wheel, you may click the scroll wheel to select an image manipulation tool. In this case, the left mouse button will windows level, right mouse click will zoom an area of an image, and the mouse wheel will zoom in and out. If you ever find that you need to start from scratch and reset your image, you may do so by clicking the red power button located in the toolbar. While Keystone automatically calibrates image measurement based on the image information we receive from the acquisition computer, image measurement may be manually calibrated by selecting the appropriate tool. Begin calibration by clicking on a point of an object of a known size within the image. Keystone will ask if you're sure you want to recalibrate the image. Click Yes. Next, find the endpoint of your object and click on it. You may now enter the exact measurement in millimeters. Finish calibration by clicking OK. Now that calibration is complete, you may select the ruler to take your measurements. If you find that you've made a mistake with any of your annotations, you may erase them utilizing either of the two eraser tools. The pink eraser tool will erase individual annotations, while the pink eraser tool with the red X will erase all annotations. The intersecting line angle tool may be toggled on and off to display intersecting line angles. Should you find that the angle measurements are obstructing your view, you may grab them with your mouse and move them out of the way. The integrated DICOM viewer provides a variety of image manipulation and measurement tools. While you may not utilize all tools available, we do recommend spending some time within the DICOM viewer to familiarize yourself with the available tools and their functionality. Annotations may be saved using two different tools found within the viewer. The first of these tools is the disk icon, which allows you to save annotations in a semi-permanent manner. Should you save annotations using the disk icon and then close and reopen your study at a later date, the annotations will still be available and adjustable. The second save option is to utilize the icon depicting an x-ray with a disk in front of it. Clicking this tool will permanently save your annotation by burning them into the image and creating a new image thumbnail. Additional viewing panes may be added in order to perform side-by-side -side image viewing. Image thumbnails may be dragged and dropped into the viewing pane that you wish to view that image from. If the patient has previous studies that you'd like to compare, you may do so by right-clicking on the viewing pane that you'd like to display the previous studies from. Hover your mouse over the appropriate study date and then select the image you would like to display in the viewing pane. Now let's look at some advanced image manipulation utilizing a CT study. When opening a new study while the image viewer is already in use, you will have the option to add the new study to the open viewer, close the previous study, or open a new viewer. To begin viewing this CT, we will adjust the number of viewing panes. Clicking the viewing pane icon again will toggle back and forth between one viewing pane and the number of viewing panes you've previously selected. You may scroll through a series by right or left clicking on the stack and scroll tool icon 
and then clicking on the appropriate mouse button within the viewing pane in which you'd like to scroll. The wheel on the mouse will perform the same function. Multiple series may be automatically or manually synchronized by clicking on the synchronization tools within the viewer. Reference lines may be toggled on and off by clicking on the reference line tool icon. To generate a 2D multiplane reconstruction, select the appropriate series for which you'd like to reconstruct and then click on the 2D MPR tool icon. To adjust the orthogonal views, grab the end of the X or Y axis from within the left-hand viewing pane and move the axis to adjust the angle of the rendering. To display intersecting points within multiple series or images, you may click on the Intersecting Points tool and then click on a series or image within the viewer at which time the intersecting points will be displayed using a crosshair. A series or Cineloop may also be played utilizing the Cineloop player found within the DICOM viewer tools. You may start by adjusting the frame rate and then clicking play to run through the Cineloop or series. A single image or slice may be exported by clicking on the export tool located within the DICOM viewer tools. After clicking the export tool, Keystone will ask if you want to export all slices in the series or an individual slice. Clicking yes will export all slices, while clicking no will export the current slice. After clicking the appropriate option, Keystone will walk you through where you'd like to export the images to. This concludes the demonstration of the Asteris Keystone Integrated DICOM Viewer.